Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Today I will be expanding my experience with yet another high performance CPU air cooler, which will contribute to the never ending battle of this segment, that this time being Cryorig's flagship model, the Air One Ultimate. The product box is really big, but overall it's basically the same as any other from Cryorig's lineup, with a picture of the cooler on the front, pointing out some of its main features on the sides, like easy installation, dual tower construction, etc., while on the back you will come across onto your usual technical specifications for the cooler and its fans, as well as a list of supported platforms, and as you can see, the Air One Ultimate will basically go onto anything. Opening up the box, on the flaps we have a reminder that you can register your product online and doing so you will obtain additional 3 years of warranty. Right on the top you will find this separate box which is as you can see meticulously laid out and in which you will find all the necessary parts for cooler installation and more. And here we have the cooler itself. The R1 Ultimate comes in as one rather big air cooler, but that's not a surprise as it's a dual tower one. The design is really interesting and non-standard, we have this dual tone gunmetal black and silver fin use, and you can also notice that Cryorig put this glossy black insert on the silver part of the cooler, which also serves as a clamp point for fans. Cryorig is actually offering different colors of these inserts, some of which have metallic finish, so be sure to check that out on their website if you are doing a color specific build. Overall, I personally really like how this cooler looks, with also no complaints whatsoever on its build quality. The tower itself measures just a bit over 168mm, so have that in mind in terms of your chassis size. It's pretty heavy too, weighing in just over 1.2kg on account of its massive construction and two fans. Front half of each tower carries 42 fins, while back has 53, coupled with a total of 7 6mm heat pipes. All of that is cooled off with two 140mm fans, and you can also add a third one if you wish to, as you will in the bundle get additional set of fan clips. Coming to the bottom we are greeted by this big nickel plated copper CPU base, which is maybe not mirrored to perfection, but it's very smooth and evenly polished. As with any other Cryorig cooler, installation on my 1151 socket was dead simple and it can be done in way under 5 minutes, especially if you had some experience with cooler installation from before. Installing it the way I did, with fans facing IOS for the purpose of recording b-rolls, you will probably have some RAM clearance issues if you don't have a low profile RAM kit, while putting the cooler to the other more common side, with fans facing the front side of the chassis, it could potentially be even worse. You can bring the fan up, but that won't be effective nor good looking. Although the cooler itself clears the RAM, the fan is in the way, so bottom line, try aiming at having a lower profile RAM kit. Also you should have in mind that due to the cooler size, the first PCI Express slot will be blocked for sure. I was for example lucky as I have a motherboard model that has its first PCI Express X16 slot on the second row, so I was good to go. Taking a look at the performance of the cooler, with an ambient temperature of around 21 to 22 degrees Celsius, under idle my Core i7-6700K was sitting at around 25 degrees Celsius. During AIDA's system stability test load, it was mostly under 60 degrees Celsius, with occasional peaks over 65 degrees Celsius, depending on the core. Loading my overclocking profile for the CPU, clocking it at 4.7 GHz with BIOS voltage set at 1.35 volts, I was seeing temperatures anywhere from 60 to 75 degrees Celsius, with peaks just touching 80 degrees Celsius. Those are some really impressive numbers taking everything into consider, almost on par with some of the better water cooling all-in-ones out there. In terms of the noise, during idle and light load the fans are really quiet, while under full load, since we have two of them, they can get audible of course, and in that case they are reaching their maximal speed of around 1300 RPM, but you can of course always do a custom and more quiet their fan curve and sacrifice a little bit of performance.
That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the Cryorix R1 Ultimate CPU Cooler. Feel free to toss me a thumbs up if you like this video, it helps me a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course, if you would like to see more content like this, you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel, or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.